Video killed the radio star. Uh. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another episode of photography. I'm outside. What do you notice behind me? A vast amount of a nothingness and a truck and a truck. But today's episode is on negative space photography. What is negative space? Well, that's a very good question. I'm glad you asked that. Negative space is you have your subject, but your subject's kind of, you know, not taking up a lot of space in the photo. There's more nothing around that little something. So your subject is the little something. And you want a little bit of that. You want lots of nothing. It's kind of an easy thing to do. Negative space refers to all of the air and stuff. Now, chemicals. A little windy out here. I gotta move. Negative space refers to all of the space around your subject. You want more negative space than you want subject space. It's used a lot in art and architecture. I use it all the time on absolutely every photo shoot. I always do a negative space photo whenever I'm doing something. So why negative space? Why? It makes a powerful image, that's why. Negative space makes a very cool, powerful image because usually most people are used to having the subject take up all the space in the photo and that's what you're trained to do. But negative space, you're trying to unlearn what you have learned there, Yoda. You're taking your subject, which is the positive space, and you're making them tiny so there's more nothing around them. It makes a more powerful picture. It grabs the attention of the viewer. It does. You don't know it, but it does. You're drawing that viewer in. Meaning a viewer would see your photo and they would see that your photo has lots of nothing around it. Lots of nothing. Birds! And they would have to get up closer to see what your subject is. You're drawing them in. You are telling your audience, you need to look at this. Get a little closer. Check this out. I know what I'm doing. I'm telling you, the viewer, what to do. God, birds! There we go. We're back. Back on my rocks. Negative space. You want to create a dramatic photo. Dramatic meaning the subject that people are used to. You're making small instead of big, like what people are used to. People don't know what art is. You have to tell them what the art is. You are telling them, hey, I made this subject super small, so I'm forcing you to get closer to my art. You're doing that to these people because they don't know what to look at. You have to tell them what to look at. So negative space is making quite a dramatic photo. Ah, wind. Negative space is one of the easier things to figure out. You figure out what your subject is and you just kind of put them off in the corner, put them down towards the bottom, put them up towards the top. So instead of taking up three quarters of the frame, they take up like one quarter of the frame. When I mean frame, I mean picture for you people that can't figure it out. But negative space is actually one of the easier things people have to do. They're just not used to it. So you're gonna try negative space because negative space is fun. You can do negative space of kind of anything. You know, you could do it of a, of a soda can in a green field. Because the soda can doesn't belong there. That's a piece of trash. In a field. So you could set that up as negative space. I have a big farm field over here and I'm gonna do negative space of a rock or a piece of corn. Something nobody would think of just because, oh, who takes pictures of corn? I do. It's cool. Or rocks. This is stupid. So I'm going to take some photos of negative space. You'll see what I mean. But you're definitely going to try it out and have fun with this one because negative space is, you know, pretty easy. I've never had anybody complain about negative space. It's fun. Try it out. You're making a dramatic photo. Your subject is the positive space, so you want a little bit of that. The negative space, you want more of that. Oh. Little tips. If you put your subject in the top of the photo, they have a tendency to feel trapped. If you put them in the bottom of the photo, 
there's a more airy feeling above it because they have all this space above them. So it has more feeling of being free and open. Whereas in the top of the photo, they're, they're more trapped. So if you're taking a negative space picture of a peephole, be careful where you put them and where they're looking because it has impact on your photo. So this should be simple. Thanks for watching everybody. It is simple and you're gonna do it. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have fun and you're gonna have fun. We're gonna have so much. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you again next time, whenever that is. Get this virus over with. We can actually do this face to face like we used to back in the good old days where everybody went to school and everybody wasn't afraid of getting, you know, the Captain Crunch virus and, you know, weren't birds yelling at me. Beat it! Thanks for watching everybody. See you later. Bye! Too many birds.